General Secretary of the Organization Bodu Balasena Venerable Gargodatte Nanasarathera who was granted a presidential pardon yesterday called on President Maithripala Sirisena last evening. The Thera arrived at the President's official residence at Mahagama Sekra Mavata. His mother who accompanied the Thera conveyed her gratitude to the President for pardoning the Thera. <laughs> Salafism is more dangerous than Wahhabism. It was the Muslims who asked us to intervene and save them from these ideologies which are engulfing the Muslim community. They said that they cannot make utterances about it since they would be attacked or even killed. We started talking about this issue and it started with halal. I said towards the end of 2013 that a youth named Zahran was spreading Wahhabism in the eastern province while committing acts of extremism. I warned that he was about to be shipped off by Shibli Farooq and Abdul Rahman through the formation of the Front for Good Governance. I called for their arrest and I have proof. In fact, Minister Alavi Maulana said the same thing in 2007. What is there to ask about burqas and niqabs from the Muslim community? This is our country and there's no one with a backbone to utter those words. Politicians degenerated this country for their gain. When the rich blow themselves up in the name of God, what's the message that cascades down to the lower classes? Abdul Razik, meanwhile, is leading everyone astray whilst being the brains behind everything. In the meantime, Sandhya Iknaligura today lodged a complaint at the police headquarters stating that Nyanasara Sarathera's release poses a threat to her security.